Mali, West Africa. One of the poorest countries in the world, with 70% of its rural population living below the poverty level. A place with extremely limited health care access and one of the highest child mortality rates. For the 12 million people who call Mali home, this is daily life. With limited help for self-improvement, limited means for economic independence, and for thousands of beggars on the streets, limited hope for a better future. I saw the realities of poverty. I saw the realities of lack of water. I saw women walking 25 kilometers to get water. I saw no crops. It changes the way you see the world. And you can't help but want to do something. And it's not really about... Um, I felt like it was more... I had to do something. You can't see that happening and not do something. Fortunately, for these victims of indescribable economic oppression, there are people who care. People who are helping the poorest of the poor. Some by using the teachings and principles of credit unions. One such person is Carol Chilios. In 1985, when Carol started her consulting practice, she made a commitment to help strengthen credit unions around the world. The often devastating poverty to which she was exposed influenced Carol to form the Shilios Fabric of Life Foundation in 2002. One of the foundation's most powerful projects is the Harry J. Cooperative Training Center in Mali, West Africa, where young girls are transformed from beggars to businesswomen in 18 short months. Street children tend to grow up and be married beggars and then have begging children and then the cycle gets repeated and so we want to break that cycle once the girls come into the center they begin to learn skills we wanted to use local resources we wanted to promote local indigenous kind of products and activities so we chose to go with anything to do with fabrics and so the girls are learning how to dye fabrics how to weave fabrics how to sew fabrics and then beading is a tradition in Africa so the girls are learning beading skills as well. Each girl gets a twenty dollar stipend once a week and that pays for her transportation, it pays for her food and out of that she also opens a savings account because part of the program is to help her recognize the importance of thinking about the future. Each young woman can choose to join the Harry J. Marketing Cooperative or have access to a microloan to start their own business. Upon graduation, they have the equivalent of one year's salary and savings, $150. The first 10 students in the pilot program graduated in July of 2006 and their diplomas were handed out by the First Lady of Mali. Joining Carol and Kaba at the graduation ceremonies along with the First Lady of Mali were over 300 officials and guests at the Bamako Congressional Palace. Among those attending were a delegation from Washington State. The first 10 students were in the pilot project. Uh, we came to the attention of the Mali government and the First Lady of Mali heard about our project. She um, was the person who came to the ceremonies and handed out the diplomas to the girls. And that was a pretty proud moment because here these girls who had been begging on the streets 18 months before were shaking the hand of the First Lady of Mali. And they couldn't believe it themselves. One of the girls said, I would never have even been allowed near the gates of the Palais du Congrès. And here I am shaking the hand of the First Lady of Mali. That, that was pretty moving. 